Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Sambhu from Cloud Tech. Today we will talk about if you want to protect your EC2 instance from accidentally delete, then how we can protect our EC2 instance. So let's move on to the AWS console. So I have already logged in in AWS console. I am in Virginia region and let's go to the EC2 dashboard and here I am running total three EC2 instance. Okay guys, so let me show you that here and before that uh, today's demo let's uh, talk about like what could be the advantage of that and why we need that basically suppose if you not enable that right and by accidentally or any xyz reason if you by mystically click on the terminate then there is no way to get back your uh, data or instance right so that's the problem so you, there is no another way alternate way you can retrieve back your instance right so that's the problem so uh, to prevent that like accidentally delete or terminate your research instance we can AWS is providing by default one features like uh, if you want you can enable uh, that uh, there is no extra charge for that you can utilize that so that you can prevent okay guys and this will be helpful like suppose in your organization some freshers is there who have less knowledge on that cloud and if they want to explore that and if my, uh, by accidentally if they delete right then it will be the huge cost for you right to recover back that instance right so for that purpose we can utilize this one even though you have enable if you enable this terminate protection right you can utilize that uh, automatically start stop or uh, that uh, functionality also you can utilize you can stop history instance and you can start also then that will not impact anything so let's move on to this issue to instance so let me show you that so this is my running issue to instance so i will show you two different category one is already running issue to instance suppose you forget to mention the terminal protection how we can enable that and if you want suppose a new issue to instance on that you would like to create that that also possible okay guys so let me show you that so this is my demo uh, terminal protection one one issue to instance and this is all running uh, due to micro little bit go down here and here we have one option monitoring is disabled and this is the option termination protection right it is disabled since it is a disable right if you just uh, try to delete or terminate this instance you can terminate but if you enable that let me show you that so go uh, first how we can enable let's go to the instance first you have to select which instance you want to enable that so let's select that and go to the instance settings and here we have option change terminate, terminate protection right so termination protection so let's click on enable and that's it now i have enabled right so since it is a termination protection is enabled right you cannot terminate this ec2 instance but you can stop it so let me show you that so let's try to terminate this ec2 instance okay See, fail to terminate the instance. Instance, this one is may not be terminated. One, uh, one to a instance. So this is the problem. You cannot terminate this instance. Okay, guys. But if you want to stop this, uh, suppose in my previous session I have already demonstrated, right? So let me show you that. Suppose in your account you have automatically stop and start is to instance that mechanism. This is the one, right? Like. Uh, you can stop that is to instance so let me show you that uh, if we can stop or not so let's stop it is stopping right but let's go to the another is to instance where we don't have any termination protection enabled so let's go to here refresh click this let's this is the disable right and if you try to terminate this one you can easily terminate it it will not it is terminating right so this is how we can protect our institutions uh, by terminating okay by default by mistake okay now if you want to launch new instance suppose uh, in that how we can enable so let's go to here like this here and let's select the security group and let's go to the advanced section and here we have that option 
So it's there. And this is the turbulence encoder. So if you just enable, then launch is twist. like this and this is enabled right you cannot turn in this instance let's see so like this we can protect okay guys i also guys keep in mind once we enable this terminate port, termination protection enable right you cannot terminate this instance and any post right so suppose if you need this uh, instance uh, you require to terminate right then how we can terminate back again right? So for that what we need to do, first we need to disable this, so how we can disable, same settings, we need to go to the instance settings, first we have to select that instance, then go to the instance settings, and from the instance setting, again we have to go to the uh, change termination protection, let's click on that, and then again we have to disable, so you are disabling this one, so no, if once you disable, right, this is no longer protecting your, uh, uh, like accidents or termination, okay, so let's like save, once you save, then you can able to turn it. Okay, this is how we can again back to our uh, if you want to turn it right, we can do like this. Okay, so hope this session will be helpful to you guys. And if you feel this video is valuable to you, then please subscribe my channel and share surrounding with your friend. That will really inspire to me and that will really help to. Okay, guys, see you in my next video. Chalo, bye.